Stretch your tax dollars at National Furniture Liquidators. We know you work hard for your money, so buy, pay more. The lowest prices on furniture, like five-piece bedroom sets, three eighty-eight, four eighty-eight, five eighty-eight. Rustic pub table, two stools and vents, four hundred and eighty-eight dollars. A reclining sofa or love seat, your choice, just six eighty-eight. Thousands of items in stock, so you can buy today and have it tonight. Great financing options, regardless of your credit, with up to three years no interest financing. National Furniture Liquidators. When it comes to value, quality, and selection, nobody beats Shorty. Do you have a need for speed? Then come fly with us. At 1 million bits of data per second, we will have your internet there faster. TBTC has the speed, the security, and the professionals who care about you. Let TBTC fill your need for speed today. Alamo iNews, brought to you in part by the White Sands Mall, open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. Sunday, from 12 noon till 6 p.m. Hello, I'm Scott Christie with Alamo Eye News. The Toy Train Depot on Alamogordo is a great local attraction to take your family to. We spoke with Joseph Tuttle to find out more about the trains. Hi, my name is Joseph. I'm here at the Toy Train Depot in Alamogordo on the north end of Alameda Park. Uh, we offer a uh, two and a half mile train ride on a 16 inch train. Uh, we have a museum with four different working layouts and probably about 2,000 different engines. It's a great thing to do around the weekends, especially with the weather getting the way it is. Model trains every, uh, from every era, from the 1900s, the early 1900s, up into some, uh, some of the more modern ones. Well, you can pay $5 a person to ride the train. Anyone under three is free. Um, if you want to ride the train and go through the museum, it's $8 a person. Uh, one or the other is five. We're open Wednesday through Sunday from noon to five. It's a great time. Everyone should come down and see it. Alamo Eye News interviewed Cam Wildey with the Alamogordo Main Street. Hi, I'm Cam Wildey, Executive Director of Alamogordo Main Street. We're here in historical downtown Alamogordo on New York Avenue, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you about a fantastic program that we're looking into at the moment. I just had a short presentation at the City Commission meeting the other night, and on Tuesday night, presenting a program that is available to Alamogordo at this time in the form of a grant. It's actually a $50,000 grant with, uh, from the New Mexico Finance Authority that requires no match, uh, no project funds. It's basically free money that pays for what is called a Metropolitan Redevelopment Area Plan. Uh, this plan is extremely comprehensive and outlines a historic downtown um, economic shortfalls, positives, uh, de potential development areas, uh, all with respect to our historical assets and our customer base. In general terms, what this means is we will be both the city and uh, different organizations, not just Alamogordo Main Street, uh, will have access to a $50,000 tool to help guide future projects. In other cities, the Metropolitan Redevelopment Area Plans are utilized as a tool to help guide projects and uh, offer suggestions on recommended projects such as uh, installing city parks and vacant lots, uh, recruiting new businesses to move into vacant buildings, uh, how to recruit uh, um, desired businesses in a downtown district. Um, not only that, the Metropolitan Redevelopment Area Plan uh, opens additional doors to outside funding through public-private partnerships and grants that we normally wouldn't have access to. At this time, 
Two resolutions will go before uh, the, the city commissioners in a couple of weeks and we're very hopeful that these resolutions will be passed and will ultimately provide us access to that $50,000 to uh, contract out the grant. Uh, it, everything looks positive and it, it will be nothing but a benefit to the city and our local downtown organizations. AIN was on location. While the city was completing the demolition of the Old Kids Kingdom playground that was destroyed by a fire in September of 2016, as the city crew filled the dumpsters with remaining materials from the playground, the caution tape barrier remained in place as the only reminder of where the playground once stood. The Kids Kingdom sign will be removed and placed into storage. According to the city's recent PSA, the children's handprint tiles from the original dedication of the Kids Kingdom were unable to be salvaged. The city will offer the public pictures of the tiles as keepsakes who wish to have one beginning April 1st. For more information, contact the City of Alamogordo, 439-4279. Here's a little information on this month's Alamogordo Magazine. Inside Alamogordo Magazine are these great coupon deals. Western True Value Point S Tire Shop has a coupon for a 1999 oil change with up to five quarts of oil for most vehicles. Get $5 to spend, no strings attached at the Alamo Coin and Stamp Gallery. All you have to do is show up with your coupon. Are you looking for a family fun outing? The Train Depot has a buy one train ride, get one free. For 10%, 25%, and even 50% off deals, be sure to pick up your copy of Alamogordo Magazine today. For more information, visit alamogordomagazine.com. On March 17th, Christ Community Church and Current Youth will be hosting a Royal and White All-Star Game. Over 40 student-athletes have been invited from multiple high schools in our local area to participate in the games. The All-Senior High Class group of players will compete at the Alamogordo High School Tiger Pit with the girls game starting at 5 p.m. and the boys game starting at 7 p.m. Admission is free to the public. Doors will open at 415. To view the poster with these details, visit alamoinews.com. Now, here's a look at the AIN Spotlight. That's it for AIN this week. Be sure to watch us on social media and of course Roku.